wasn't such a serious idea to, to begin with. We just saw kids flying kites everywhere. It's a beautiful gesture. They look into the sky and somehow it's a really optimistic image of a boy looking at the sky, flying his kite. It says something about thinking about the future, having dreams. So for us, this seemed like a big symbol of the favela. Something that we felt would, if you put that big on a wall, that would speak to a lot of the local people. They cling to the hills of Rio de Janeiro, favelas, bare brick homes crammed one on top of another, resented and feared by the rest of the city. The residents here have transformed their community into a living, breathing canvas. Jeroen Kohlhaas and his friend Dre Yurhan first came to Brazil in 2005 to make a documentary about hip-hop in Rio's favelas. I suddenly had this clear vision that it would be great to actually transform their living environment together with them into something artistic. They lived in Vila Cusero, one of the city's most violent slums. Their projects included a boy flying a kite and a cement hillside covered with fish. Next, they put Santa Marta on the drawing board. They created a massive artwork covering 34 buildings. If donations come in, a whole favela could be next. We were planning to go back to Rio. That's always been our dream. You know, fate somehow took us to Philadelphia and now our next step is here. Philadelphia had 324 homicides last year. A man opened fire on a car filled with tea. 55 gunshot victims in Philadelphia alone. A man was shot at least, at least 12 four times. people were shot in separate incidents. The leading motive for murder was argument. So far this year, more than 210 murders and earned its nickname, Philadelphia. The project really just grew along with us and it grew in proportion, it grew in depth, it grew in value, it grew in appreciation and that was never like a predetermined plan at all. Like we had no clue when we started that we would one day be sitting in Philadelphia and be like, um, you know, like that this would be like a field that we are like, uh, <laughs> that we're good at. <laughs> It's really, it's kind of weird. It's a few years ago now, I mean, it's like four, four, almost five years ago. Made a big difference, I mean, now we're a bit older. I have a kid now, you know, the whole, your whole setup is different. Back then, back then we, we felt more like... It was adventurous. We were more like adventurous and, we, you know, we didn't really give a shit about much, thing, like the danger around us. We would go to crazy party where people were shooting in the air and Kids were walking around drunk with weapons, dropping their guns on the floor and stuff. And we would just be there because we got so used to it that it just became our life, basically. And the projects, I mean, the fact that they grow just makes them, you know, more interesting. They're also more difficult, but more interesting. I think that if we, if, if all of a sudden our work would just be a constant repetition of what we've already done, we would grow very bored of it quickly. The setup is interesting because we are on invitation by the Philadelphia Mural Arts Program. So it, it's interesting to see that um, the combination of our ideas and a lot of production power and money can lead to incredible success. You, you good? Yeah. Good to yeah. see you. What's up, man? Good to see you again. I hope they brought enough uh, sugar for you, Tash. I told them about you, so... Damn, that's not even half as much sugar as I had hoped for. I'm gonna secure one for myself. Oh, you got the customized one. You didn't trust me in getting you a coffee. Uh, actually, this was before uh, You can say it, that you didn't trust me. I'm telling you, it was before. I know it's a horrible precedent. It and I did wrong in the past. But, you know, there must be room to make up. No, they were stingy. I'm sorry about that. I think they talk to us more, probably, like speaking their things. My daddy 
saying the same thing. We'll be like, oh, why y'all choose these back. colors? Like, really trying to talk to us, but then walk right away. Mm. Everything oh, said. Yeah, the classic guy. Yeah, that's the walk away. That's crazy. The first time it happened to me, I was like, what the fuck? People are like, yo, why are you painting this? And you, and you feel obliged. You go like, well, you know, it's a project in this and that. And then you're looking at the, at the person that's like, like taking off. Like, what the fuck? Like, why are you asked? But people, and then people are saying, yo, normally y'all go through these. What's the no, they got some jelly filled things, man. Right? <laughs> What? These kinds we don't even eat. <laughs> Tasha touching yeah, donuts see. and oh, yeah. all that. So hang on, if I go and get donuts, I shouldn't take, get. You should get, like all glaze. Glaze. Yeah, yeah, you get all glaze. Get right all glaze. All glaze. Old fashioned chocolates. Glaze and chocolates. Cause what's this? Which one is that? I went and I got donuts. all the Oreo flares, and they gave me uh, hell. I don't eat that shit. You don't eat it either. No, man. Man, that's I eat the glaze and the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, something like this, when it gets done, just the sheer scope of it, you know, I'm thinking a year from now, you know, you bring somebody out here and you turn that corner and there's, you know, they're going to see it. It's, they turn that corner, it's over, you know? It's like, it's gonna be that big. This Sunday, we out here we painting, fully painting. You know, I'm the rapper. I'm always around. These are my boys. Basically, it's a, a series of three projects, which is totally bananas, because it makes no sense to do pr three projects when one project consists of painting more than 100 houses. So right now, we're basically focusing on this, which I think is quite a big project already, which starts basically where we're standing now goes over Germantown Avenue, over the whole commercial corridor, and goes over Huntingdon, Oakdale, Lehigh, Silver, Somerset, up the way to Cambria. Just, we just thought, okay, we'll do the whole street. That's how we always think, like, that's what we do. <laughs> that's why we try to paint big. So if they say, do the whole street, we're like, all right, we'll do the whole street. We would walk up and down the avenue every day and discuss. And we were overwhelmed by what a mess it was and how you could ever create something on that avenue which would hold it together or, you know, make it look um, more coherent. I selected, I selected pictures from thousands of pictures that I just had, that I took around Philadelphia when we, the first months and uh, the first time we went here. And, and from those pictures I, I took representative uh, images that I thought were representative color-wise, and I deducted the colors from those images. If you can look at the traditional way the houses are painted, it's usually like the Philly red, the brick red, and then the cornices or the tops of the buildings and the woodwork a lot of the time are painted in accent colors which contrast with the red. What came out of this is that we have red and then we have all these different accent colors which somehow contrast with that red. The next step after that, weaving colors. So that if you take these co colors that are the same in this building and, th and the same in that building, that you can start weaving those colors into each other like a tapestry, uh, which is which, which I thought graphically would be interesting, but also is a nice symbol for people coming together and working together for what, and making one big project happen, one big initiative to make this neighborhood, uh, to give it, a, to give, to kickstart change in this neighborhood. Avenue of the Arts, ladies and gentlemen, we're witnessing a part of history right now. This is a place where I can come chill and be safe at, be safe waiting on the bus and stuff like that. I come from a rough neighborhood. Real rough. Which one is that? Beirut. 12th and Hunterton. We ain't too far from it. We're on the borderline actually right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cross the tracks, literally. <laughs> See the tracks? <laughs> so that's dividing? 
Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like territorial, man. They yeah, call the they call this Badlands. No, this is that Badlands. No, Badlands over there on that side of Lehigh. This is called Beirut. This is called I don't know some Iranian <laughs> something Iranian, but it's in Philly. So yeah. Drugs, violence, teenage pregnancy, you name it, we got it, man. The whole point of the project is that it's a neighborhood involved project and that's why we're hired as well because we'll move to the neighborhood, we'll recruit local painters and get the neighborhood, at least many people in the neighborhood, as many as possible to feel part of this project and to feel involved in it. And that is, that is the reason why we're hiring local people and not just taking up team of professional painters. One of the painful things in a neighborhood like this is that every opening is being filled by somebody that's not local. You know, if a tree has to be cut, people from another neighborhood come in and cut that tree. If, the light, if a light bulb needs changing in the avenue, people from another neighborhood come in and change that light bulb. There is no job for people. And that's really frustrating. So as soon as you come in and, and employ people from a neighborhood that, you know, it, I mean, Obviously, those people need jobs too, but this neighborhood just needs the, the jobs so bad. We just hope that in every sense that it will catalyze uh, people to, or catalyze change in a positive sense. I don't we, we don't, we can't beforehand really put a finger on it. You just hope it works. This is making history. Yeah, that's how I see it. It is making history, and it's like I get to be a little part of it. Yeah. Be a part of transforming a whole avenue. I, I like that whole idea. And then the fact that it was people from the neighborhood that was going to be working. I want to be able to do things that I never, like, like, uh, a lot of things. Like, I feel like it's a lot of things that I, n I never got to do. Like, I, I, I was never, like, privileged to do a lot of things. So, it's a lot of things that I want. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Does. Can you look at me while you're painting? Right. <laughs> you can't see what you're doing. But... In the beginning, when I just moved here, this is pretty yeah. intimidating city. It's a lot of parts of the city are really poor and and and, and really and falling apart and, and people hang out in the street like especially in summer most people hang out on the street and you see a lot of people not really doing anything and I always think that's intimidating wherever you go if you walk around or drive around somewhere somewhere and people are just hanging around. I know that you guys uh, never wear your safety belt. Why is that? Uh, I, I I keep my safety belt on on the highway, but. Like in, in, in our neighborhood, like it, I don't keep it on because if there's some shooting, I want to be able to duck or get out my car or do something as quick as possible. It was shootouts on these corners every single day, all day. You, hey, these guys came down almost every day trying to say boom, 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 we want this corner, we, we want this house. I can, rem I can remember where I went to a funeral almost every other day for two months and probably um, 90, 98, 99, I probably went to a funeral probably every other day for about two months. The scope of what's going on, the impact of what's going on. I think, I, I think I, the most that I like about this is that this, this isn't too, Dutch artists coming to a North Philly to come try to help some poor neighborhood. No, they're not even the ones that's actually really painting. They came here, they, they said, we got an idea for your neighborhood. We think we can beautify it. We think that um, we can unify it. And you know, we are listening and it's like, okay, well, what y'all got going on? Are y'all charging anybody for something? It's like, nope, actually, we're gonna bring some money to you in a couple different ways. And it's like, wait, who comes here and say, we don't want no money from you, but we want to come help you uplift your environment, paint it, make it clean, and pay you to do it. 
if, if not for anything, just the colors alone brightens up the area. And this area needed, you know, it, it needs some color. I mean, you look behind me, you see how dismal it looks, and then you turn around and it's just beautiful, bright, welcoming colors. Hopefully people will want to start investing in the area uh, also. That starts happening, maybe buildings get fixed, you know. What, the small ones or the big, the big ones? Yeah, the big ones. I think it's a, a, an improvement on the neighborhood. Plus, I like to, to see kids express themselves, or anyone express themselves in that manner. I'll, I'll be going someday, but some kid will see that. Yeah. So that's yeah. how I look at it. You, you, they, you do what you live. Like, you can, like, there's people that come around here that have bad lives and got out of it. It's just what you do to live. Like, it's what you make it. Life is what you make it. And I'm working on my dreams, you know what I mean? I'm a contractor, I'm just, I'm still young, so I got, you know what I mean? I'm just, How old are you? 24, you know what I mean? I'm just starting to live life, so, that's all. Yes, you are, my friend. There's a few different brands or something like that. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Right. So, um, let's look at what, what we still have to do here. So, um, what we just talked about, the grades, that goes for the all the way to the African American dollar store? Yeah. With the same continuation of lines, right? Yeah. Okay. The whole thing until M and J? It'll be about a day. A day of lining. And I was let's told, make it and, two days. Okay. And that's also I think I think it's longer if you do lining and, and detailing. No, but that's a, that's separate days. Oh, we okay. did separate days for lining. Okay. This is just to color it in. So it's oh, filling wait, in, wait, but wait, then I'll detailing. Think You're calling lining detail. now. Yeah. So yeah. lining, I don't what would you putting a line with a number? Right. Surfaces. Okay. So well, there won't be including out. detailing. Let's, let, we'll, so we'll let's, go detail. let's figure out the words for it. So that we detail. call that ma mapping out right now? We're putting the first lines with the numbers. Yeah. That's what you, what you call it. Lining. Okay. No, you call detailing lining. No. Now we're all good. No. Okay, all right. Lining is with the, where you all put right. the numbers on. All right. Okay. This is step one. All right. And then, call, then filling in filling is step in. two. And detailing, detailing is step three. Okay. So they're doing the filling and detailing at the same time. Okay. Well, that makes sense. In Brazil, you go up to a place and you shake, it, shake somebody's hand and you look them in the eye and then you you know who you have to deal with. But here, we don't, there's not, like they, they asked us to paint the street, but there was not a street to be painted yet. Like we have to, from, from building to building, we have to get the approvals for that building. So that's kind of a weird situation. And that's a new situation for us as well. And because this is a street with more than 100 stakeholders involved, everything is times 100. And that makes it really difficult. So that's sort of how I put it together. So I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Keep up the good work, guys. All right. See you around in the alley. Right. Thank you. all Have a good one. It's just we're really trying, and that's also a reason that we asked for more people to come and work with us, like you, is that we have a, kind of a problem with the size of the group yeah. and the fact that the work is quite precise. Yeah and that you also have to just handle people that might have never worked before. Yes. You have a relationship where you actually have to open up and be able to get, um, to get criticism without it resulting in a fight. <laughs> you know, so it's, uh, so that, so that, and we're getting there and it's interesting as well. And for us, we have to like, take a stand on that. But, um, no! Jesus Christ. Yo, yo, hang on, hang on. Why did I just continue? It's crazy. Yo, guys, you can you paint here with people walking under with all these things falling down. That's just basically dangerous.
this is crazy, you know, you're trying to actually do a project, you're trying to deal with, you know, um, with all the red tape, with all the bullshit about the project, with getting the, the, the paint there, with, getting, with handing the painters, with handing all their drama, and then it's just the drama of the neighborhood. Just the fact that he's in a fight with him, he took that, this guy disappeared, blah, blah, blah. That constant stress that that neighborhood brings with it. Look at this shit. Mediocre, this shit look bad. This shit look bad, this shit look bad. This shit look bad, man. Line, look, you see, you see what my paint, my shit be together. You know what I'm saying? Hit this right here, money. These motherfuckers, I ain't gonna lie, this shit depressing. Hey, look at this shit. This shit horrible. Look at that shit. This shit look like Lil' Meat did it. I mean, we chose to not have this project painted by a bunch of professional painters who would come every day, never leave the place for a minute, and would know how to paint and do it because we want this to be a project that belongs to the neighborhood. It, that doesn't take away that we need this project to finish. For you and me, for uh, Flex, for Jared, this is our careers on, uh, on the lines. We cannot have you endanger the fact that we are not going to be able to finish this project in time. Like this project for both of us is, is, is so big and so many people connected to it that it becomes um, it becomes it becomes a bit of a monster we just thought it was a cool idea we just thought it was cool to to try it out and I mean you you, you, you kind of you can't really afford to too often have that conversation like should we like just abandon this whole project? Everything we do in Philadelphia started with the, with the kite run. People were sending us pictures, like, look, it really looks bad. And people also, I mean, obviously, at one point, the people in the house say, like, look, we're just going to paint that shit over. Jeroen and I discussed, and we said, fuck it, let's go. Let's do it. Symbolism is really sad, especially because he had the bullet hole in his head. Assim, o que o que mais me chama atenção foi o ponto de partida que começou aqui. Foi tudo ao inverso. Vocês começaram uma época que aqui era muito violenta. Uh -huh. é, vocês pintaram, pô, correndo risco de vida, de ser atingido por tiros. Mas nem por isso vocês deixaram de, de fazer o trabalho. Olhou isso como um, um olhar preconceituoso. Ah, não, vamos fazer porque ali é violento. Vamos fazer em algum lugar turístico? Não, vocês escolheram aqui. Mas é isso mesmo. Eu tenho uma pergunta. Na fora, muita gente pergunta a nós. A pintura não ajuda, na verdade, né? Uhum. Essa é uma pergunta, é uma crítica. Minha resposta para eles é de... Se você tem essa pergunta, você não pode me perguntar isso, porque eu não tenho... Uh, a resposta, a re vai lá e pergunta a nós eles. mesmo, porque Sim. sabemos dos nossos problemas, o que realmente aqui precisa. Aqui precisa de arte, pronto, já temos. A gente precisa de saúde, então isso tem que ser perguntado a quem é responsável pela saúde. E não perguntar, direcionar a crítica somente a você, porque não tem como você fazer tudo. Saúde, educação, você já está dando o melhor de vocês, que é a arte e disponibilizar o seu tempo para vir para o Brasil. Eu vendo o compite, eu... Fiquei perguntando a ele quando que vocês iriam voltar, porque foi uma amizade que eu não queria perder. 
Vou até confessar que falei pro Pete que eu jamais falaria, mas tô falando na tua presença. Pô, eu chorei por vocês terem ido embora. Porque vocês me mostraram um outro lado de viver. Porque eu já tive dois irmãos que foram envolvidos em crime. Um faleceu com 18 anos. O outro com, com 19 anos foi preso. Ficou quase que quatro anos dentro de uma cadeia. E vocês me mostraram que na comunidade não existe só violência. Entendeu? Tem, tem algo de bom que possa acontecer. E vocês trouxeram esse algo de bom para minha vida. Porque pessoas que criticam, elas simplesmente não fazem nada para mudar as coisas, só criticam. E vocês não, vocês vieram e estão fazendo o trabalho. Isso tirou um pouco da minha, da minha dúvida. E a dúvida é, a Vela Pente vai continuar ou não? Isso é uma pergunta. É. <risos> Vamos continuar, pô. É, então. <risos> As much as I love being in Philadelphia, this our, our dream was to be here. Like our initial dream was to be to be painting here. And if you look at this hill, like for me, the, the dream just comes back of how beautiful it would be to paint this entire hill. And now with all these new ideas that we have, and with like training people, but also with um, like we have this idea of actually making the, our own paint here and, and building like a little paint factory that can create its own product and it can start like its own economical endeavor where people where they can make their paint, sell it, make money and with that money, you know, we can pay um, we can pay painters to continue the project. So this project could actually be like its own sort of self-sufficient, uh, sustainable art project. me perguntou se eu posso deixar você beber. Eu falei sim, sem problema. Mas... Aqui é comum o jovem beber. É. Lá nos Estados Unidos só pode só depois de 21, né? Perguntar uma coisa, qual é a diferença do Rio e da Filadélfia? Oh, são... Filadélfia, é um... como o Rio é uma cidade muito grande, é tem muitas coisas parecidas para começar, porque... Filadélfia, como o Rio, tem bairros muito ricos, mas muitos bairros pobres também. E lá a pobreza é, é quase igual que aqui, que é muito desemprego, é, educação é ruim para muitas pessoas. Nos, nos bairros pobres as escolas estão muito pior que nos outros bairros. Então tem muitas coisas parecidas, mas no mesmo tempo... Uh, é a América do Norte, né? é o país de, de sucesso, que todo mundo pensa só em, em dinheiro, em ter carro. Então, pessoas estão com aquela ideia que se, quando você está pobre, que você não está realmente vivendo. Para mim parece assim. E aqui, eu acho que as pessoas que têm pouco, 
sabem bem viver com isso, bem sustentar o, um, um, um pensamento positivo. O que você acha que um projeto assim de pintura uh, contribui, contribui aqui nessa comunidade? Nos dá um pouco da realidade que acontece aqui, que os outros lá de fora pensam, mostrar que nem é tudo isso que aparece. E aqui tem muitas pessoas boas, todo mundo gosta de ajudar. Entendeu? Qualquer hora chega alguém pedindo para ajudar, se pode fazer alguma coisa, para dar outro visual aqui na comunidade. Tem orgulho de fazer isso? Muito. Sabe uma história, meu filho um dia vou ficar aqui para sempre, eu morrer, vai ter um pouquinho da minha história também, participação. Vai ficar aqui até sempre? É. Por quê? Não quer, não quer viajar, fazer outro, ver outros países? Com certeza, se eu puder. Mas sempre vai voltar? Vou. Você gosta de ir aqui? Gosto. I mean, very often we would have wished that it um, would have been easier to have control over, uh, you know, over the, the project. But every problem, there's an answer. You just don't know it yet, but you have to go out there and find it, and then it'll, it'll, it'll solve itself. You just sort of become part of the family and stick around and go through the hardship together and then you continue to work because that's what you, the promise you made that's what, what you started <laughs> there's no challenge and things being easy no challenge you want challenge so that you can yourself to be stronger. Well, people always ask us, like, what exactly is, like, the, 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 the effect? Like, how many people did you help in what way? And they want, like, most people would like to have, like, charts produced that say, okay, you help 20 people with, you know, <laughs> I don't know, they want to quantify it somehow. And we're always saying, like, you can't really quantify it. Like, how can you quantify, like, chance? You know, you want to just bring opportunity and chance into, into the situation. And, I mean, when we came here, the last thing that we would have thought was that, of all people, Keenan would get a job as a tour guide. He'll still be doing that job when we're long gone. You know, because he, that's a that's a, a, a job that's not necessarily connected to us actually painting. You know, that's just it's a thing. Like you, it's a, like it's a it's a real. I think that's nice. Thank y'all. Thank, thank y'all for coming. So my name is Keenan Jones, and I just want to welcome you to Historic Germantown Avenue right here in North Philly. Now the artists have that in mind. So. Though our days seem to be filled with fixing problems, when you're done and you're standing in front of a, of a finished painting together with the crew, it just makes you all feel small and you realize that you've done this together. And that's an amazing feeling.